What it do, G? Urban Syndicate Armory. It's your boy, PJ. I want to talk about something that's near and dear to me. You dig? This is something that changed the game for me. When I seen my boy, shout out to Hitcock, man. When I seen Hitcock doing a video about this, I totally wanted this. I, I would go gung-ho, gonzo, crazy ballistic if I can get my hands on it. And I finally had got my hands on it. Oh my goodness. This is going to be part two of the SKO shorty. But before we do that, y'all gotta do me a favor. Go hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit the notification bell. <laughs> Let us know, man, what's going on, man. Hit the comment section, right? I be fucking up sometimes. Look, this thing here, I love it, right? So let y'all know, we safe from here. Let y'all know we safe, man. All right? Hey, man, this thing here, man, I seen Hitcock doing a video of it, right? And when I seen it, I didn't know if you can get your hands on it because um, something that's like one of my dream firearms is a AA-12, right? AA-12 is just such a futuristic you can't believe it's a real gun right but it does exist i can't get my hands on that so this would do for now for me right um it didn't come like this it kind of came um with a lot less attachments it came with its own foregrip because this barrel is over 18 inches you can't put a foregrip on it it actually this is the sko shorty they do have just an sko version of this that comes with the butt stock on it already um, um it didn't come with this rail it didn't come with the grip it didn't come with a lot of this stuff so i'm gonna go through what i did to this all right i added a nice rail to it which you could probably put another different type of rail on here um but this is sko's rail that goes to this particular shotgun um it comes with this clamp here so it's kind of different it's a little different it comes a little different um it's expensive too more than any rail that you probably spend your money on um for this profile i wanted it though i wanted it to look like how i how i actually have it in this current configuration i want it with this rail i didn't know about a lot of other things i put on it. so um i added this beautiful hold grip yeah nice hold grip gave me a lot more a little bit more girth there um i think that's lava the cover is a lot the color is like lava um, i love that um I put that on there because the grip that comes on is kind of kind of puny and um if your hands get sweaty or something while you're firing there's this possibility for you to drop it because this does do some bucking depending on what you're shooting with shooting out of it uh because there's no butt start you actually shoulder shoulder like shooting this from the hip right um i also did some color filling on it you can see that did some color fills I thought that'd give it a little pop. Why not? Um, added a some, uh, added this pointed pointer grip on here. Why? I don't know. I actually wanted to have the option um, to have that because I always found myself holding it here versus holding it here. But the more that I trained and shot and actually went to a range to use this. There you go, bitch! I noticed that it wouldn't be very functional. It didn't shoot a lot with me holding it here. Holding it here gave me enough pushback to fire this and for it to grab that next round, right? Um, so, I, you know, 
They're just for looks, I guess. Yeah. They're just for looks. Added this foregrip. Light laser foregrip. It's pretty bright. It's probably like, probably about a thousand. I think that's a thousand lumens. Um, green dot on it. Very accurate. So if that green dot is wherever that green dot is touching, this gonna touch it. Um, also, I wanted to add a carry handle because I always find myself, hey man, if I can just carry it like this, just carry it. That's more convenient. It's very convenient. Um, very convenient. But I also found out that that's a sight. I didn't know. I never knew I had anything with a with a with a carry handle on it to know that it was a sight. Actually, that that's a sight there on the back of that. You can see it. It's a sight there. Never knew that. So once I got that carry handle, I had to put the front sight on there. So boom, put the front sight there. Um, you know, hey man, I think that's about all I've done in this. It, once I broke it in, once it got past that, like, you know, 100 round stage, something, it just broke in, man. Didn't have any more issues with it. It cycles. Um, Very, I mean, very smooth, man. Smooth charging handle there, man. Nice little trigger. Nice reset. A little much, look. It's a cool trigger, though. It's good for a shotgun. Uh, uh, and I mean, when, this is also finicky because it's magazine fed. Um, I ordered one of the, it came with five round, came with like some five rounders. But of course, I wanted to have 10 round. Ordered a 10 round mag from them, from Standard Manufacturing. This is Standard Manufacturing, SKO Shorty. Uh, it was expensive. Anything I ordered from them was expensive. Haven't had an issue with this firearm. It's very easy to take down. It's two pins, one here, one there. You pop those two pins out, your lower comes out. Your lower is aluminum. The top half of this is like aluminum, and then the, uh, the rest of it is like a kind of plastic, like plastic I guess. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels nice and sturdy. Um, um, all in all, it's a really good firearm. Um, front of the range, home defense maybe, truck gun maybe, hunting maybe if you put a butt stock on it. Um, yeah, man, I mean, it's really good. Put that laser on it, you need a light on it. This thing here, man, I have a great time with it. I had a great time putting it together. Um, and yeah, I mean, hey, anything y'all want to know about it, hit the comment section. Anything y'all want to know about it, go to Instagram, hit the comment section. Uh, any other firearms y'all want to see on this channel, man, Anything y'all see that y'all curious about, let us know. Um, we do respond, we do reply. Um, trying to get to a thousand followers on YouTube, trying to get to 500 on Instagram. Uh, you know, you know how that stuff works. So, um, working hard, y'all. Urban City Kid Army, it's your boy, PUJ on Mount. Oh yeah, and I ain't even talk about my sling, man. Let me talk about my sling, man. Hold up. Check this sling out, right? I got this sling from Southern Trappers. Very nice sling. I wish the only thing is, I wish I had a little, little material on the back or something to keep that from being raw on your shoulder, your neck. But it's nice, got the thumb hole. And I actually, when I when I had this fire, when I, I was calling them like, hey man, where you put, this, where you put your, where your sling points at? I know I got some sling points. They said it had sling points. I'm like, where? I don't see no sling points on this firearm at all. Where, where does it go? Like, where do I put it at? You know, I'm thinking I gotta order something to put around here. They're like, it's on there. Those are your sling points, right? <laughs> oh, man. I could be an idiot sometimes, man. I could be an idiot sometimes. Right? <laughs> 
didn't even know that shit. I was finna be pissed off that they sent me some sling, and I ain't got no sling point. They didn't send me some connect, quick connects, swivels, and I ain't got no sling point. I was finna be pissed off. But yeah, Southern Chopper, man, they make really nice slings, um, affordable. This is real authentic leather. They actually embroidered some stuff on it for me. L-O-R-D. Loyalty order. Respect, dedication. Yeah, man, this thing here, man, it's just, it is what it is, you know? I like to, to hold that thing like this. One handy, right? One handy. Woo. Yeah. My sling. Yeah, we out. Big Syndicate. God damn, folks. All right. Hey man, look, if y'all like what's going on on the channel, man, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, get in the comment section, man. Check in, man, it's a hard job, man. We out here working. Never more.